for me after going to America's Teaching Zoo at Moore Park College. Working for birds and animals has not only allowed me to travel the country, but it's allowed me to rescue, work with, and train some amazing animals. I'm lucky enough to work with a great group of animal trainers and staff here at the show, all whom care for, love, and respect all of our animal stars. From everybody here at the Universal Animal Actors Show, we hope you have a great time and enjoy the show. Hollywood's top animal trainers, Mr. John McCormick. Wow! Hello, everybody! Thank you, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Welcome to Universal Animal Actors Show. These are my friends, Riley and Muggsy. And we work for a company that has been training animals for over 40 years. And what many of you don't know, some of your favorite animal stars are rescues. And like Muggsy and Riley, they got their start on this stage in front of an audience. A little later in the show, we're going to show you a couple things that these guys have already get their big break. But until then, everybody knows what you're waiting on. One at a time. Patience. All right, that's for you. All right, that's for you. Go on, get out of here. We'll see you later. Off you go. All right, let's bring out a friend of mine from the movie Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. This is Flappy. Hi, Flappy. How are you, buddy? Nice to see you. Now, I need help from an adult volunteer. Somebody not afraid of birds want to help stop brave adults. Somebody in the middle section. Uh, let's see, man, would you like to help? Oh, your hand just went down. Okay, you want to help? There you go. Stand up. Can't change your mind, you're already committed. Stay right there and take out a dollar bill. 
Uh, the reason why I asked her to take out a dollar is because Flappy doesn't know her, might feel uncomfortable flying to someone he's never met. As you see in Evan Almighty, we train our birds to recognize and fly to common objects. Today we're using a dollar. Awesome, fold it in half, please. One more time. And place it between two fingers, arm out to your side. Very nice, don't move. Flappy's gonna see that and know where he needs to go. Yeah, he's gonna pose for some photos. Yeah. Photos of your dollar you never get back. Okay. Some of them are here with a $50 bill, want to work with Flappy. I'm only kidding, man. He's an honest bird and we don't keep the ones. Stand back up. We're gonna make it easier though. Can you put both arms out? Great, now you flap really hard and fly down here and get it. <laughs> Just a one arm out, palm facing flat up to the sky, a little bit higher, please, so he can see it. Flat she has been a great sport. He'll return it and place it right where he fell. And that's Flappy. Thank you, man. You're a great job, Flappy. That was outstanding. You are my favorite bird. I'm doing anybody else. All right, off you go. Bye bye. Hey, check it out. That's our stage hand. <laughs> These are the jokes, folks. And now we get the pleasure to work with cute little birds like Flappy. Sometimes we get to challenge ourselves with something larger, like a bird of prey. As you see in Universal's picture, Lady Hawk, Matthew Broderick, catches a hawk with precision and grace in a spectacular feat of flight. We'd like to recreate a little bit of that movie magic. Focus your attention to the small closed box in the top corner of our arena. We're going to fly down a star you'll recognize from 310 to Yuma. Ladies and gentlemen, watch your heads. Here comes Arrow. family, a group of birds consisting of hawks, kites, falcons, eagles, vultures, and owls. We'd like to introduce you to some cousins of Arrow in a rare close-up appearance. Say hello to Iris and Olympus. Olympus are Eurasian eagle owls, and you would recognize them from the Harry Potter films. And believe it or not, these owls only weigh four pounds. Now these birds are not in danger, but many animals are. And we'd like to take a moment to encourage you to do everything you can to help all animals so that beautiful, majestic creatures like these never become in danger. How about a nice round of applause for Iris and Olympus? Great work, you too. Thank you. Get over there. Bye. 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 <laughs> now, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of ours here at Universal. Everybody, meet Sweet Pea. something even better than that. So if you guys have your cameras, you might want to get them out. We're going to be bringing out one of our stunt birds, Diego, our green wing macaw. All right, now filming birds in flight can be a little bit tricky. So what we're going to do is uh, Noel's going to send Diego on some loops around the arena as you guys can try to get some video or footage of that. Here we go. One more. <laughs> All right, nicely done. This is also important to point out that Noelle trained this behavior all by herself. So let's give Noelle a round of applause. Honestly, she really did. With a little bit of help. A lot of help. You did a great job. Hey, your biggest fan's right behind you. <laughs> Seriously, that was funny. That was fun. You guys can't see there's a giant fan right there. That is Noelle's biggest fan. You guys didn't, seriously, I, I kind of liked it. He's laughing. 
never mind, forget it, it's too late. Okay. At any rate, if you didn't get a good photo or video of Diego flying around, we're going to show you how we do it in the movies with this green screen. Noel's biggest fan. Here we go. That wasn't too bad, that was pretty nice. Alright? I like flying around the arena more, actually. Anyway, step two, let's add some movie magic. Take a look how it comes together. Hey, that star has been replaced, man. That's a whole video. Anyway, nice round of applause for Noel and Diego. Nice work, you two. Well, uh, the most common question we get asked here at the show is how do we get our animal stars to land a part in a TV show or a movie? It all starts with some basic training. What better way to show you that than with a friend of mine from the movie Show Dogs. Welcome back, Riley. Hi, Riley. Get up there, handsome. Say hello to everybody. Good to meet Very nice. Now, it's important for all of our animal stars to know a number of basic behaviors, but the single most important behavior is a mark. The mark on the ground tells our animals exactly where they need to be in any given scene. And Riley would like to demonstrate this, but he needs an assistant, somebody who likes dogs, who wants to help him out. Let's see Ray volunteer out there. Hands up high, oh, so many good volunteers. Oh, oh, right here in the front, you'll be perfect. Come on over here to the steps. Come on up, we're gonna find out who you are. Riley's gonna say, oh, yep, she smells okay. Now yeah, I'm gonna give you a big kiss there. What's your name? McKenna. McKenna, is that correct? And McKenna, where are you from? Um, Burbank. Burbank. All right, well, welcome to Hollywood McKenna. You're going to be our actress. Have a seat in this chair for me, please. All right, Riley, come on over here. You already said hi, but you can give McKenna, give Riley a little pet. There you go. You guys are friends. Very nice. Okay, Riley, come on over here. Riley, come here. As I mentioned, the mark's important because it shows our animals where we'd like them to be, even if it's next to somebody they've never met. I want to make sure he knows where his mark is. Good boy, Riley. Very nice. All right, Riley, come here. So when the director is ready and we need to send Riley into a scene right next to McKenna, we can say, Riley, are you ready? And he says, yes, I am. I say, go get on your mark. He says, how about I just sit next to my new friend? <laughs> get on your feet. Get on your feet. Back up. Back, back up. Don't be a cheater. Back up. Stay right there. Okay, once he's on his mark, he's going to be looking for the trainers for cues, which is really helpful because if he's looking at us, we can give him hand cues. Good. Like, speak. Very nice. We can ask him to sit. We can ask him to lie down. We can say, put your head up. We can say, put your head down. We can say, put your head up. We can say, get on your feet. Very nice. Good stuff. Very nice. We can give him a little pet. Perfect. Okay, now as you can see, he's staring at the trainer. The director doesn't always like this. A lot of times they want to make sure that the human and the animal star have some sort of connection. So we got to make sure that the animals are going to be looking at somebody they've never met. And that's, how we're going to, that's what we're going to show you next. So we're going to move his mark right here. Okay, McKenna, you like dog treats? You do. I meant he likes dog treats. You're just going to hold on to him. Okay. Put your hand out right here on your knee for me. I'm going to let him come over and take a treat from you. All right. Perfect. Now he knows you have a snack. You can just wipe that on your pants. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Your parents are going to thank me later. Okay. Very nice. Now, there's two ways that we can do this. First one is I can stand behind McKenna. Same idea. It looks like Riley is looking at McKenna, but he's actually looking at me for cues. Same kind of idea. I can give him the same. He's like, I'm not looking at you. I can give him the same kind of cues. But on camera, it's going to look like he's really just looking and interacting with our actors. Very nice, Riley. But if I can't be in front of him, and he just has to listen to my voice, that's where you come into play. So put your hand back out for me. Give you another snack. Actually, I'll give you a little bigger one. There you go. Put your fingers around it. Keep your hand closed like that. Don't open your hand until I ask you to, okay? He might come over and sniff your hand, because he can be a little cheater, okay? But now what I'm going to do, good boy, Riley. Okay, stay right there. He's like, I'm going. Good, back up. Get on your mark, say, I'm going to move behind Riley, and he just has to listen to my voice. And now you call this behavior the work away because he's working away from his trainer. Very nice. Riley, good. Front. It's the wrong front. That's the audience. Riley, front. 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 There you go. Good. Sit. Lie down. Down. Lie down. <laughs> He's like, I don't think she has a treat, man. Run, run, run. Oh, there you go. McKenna, you can let him have it. He doesn't think you have a treat, so we're going to redo it. Very nice, Riley. Come here. Now, the reason why this behavior is important is because on set, we can't have treats sitting on the ground, so we got to hide them in the... Don't worry. You can clean your hands later. There's another treat. Right, we're going to try this one more time. All right. She has a treat. I promise you. Okay, good. Back up, back up, back up. We can hide the treat on set, we can put it in the actor and actress's pocket, wherever it needs to be. They just need to make sure the animals know where it is. Good boy, Riley. Good, speak. Good, front. Front. Good, sit. Close. On your feet. Stay. Sit. 
<laughs> all right, you can have it. All right, all right, all right. There you go, let him have it again. And folks, that's Riley and the work away. Very nice, well done, Riley, good night. You're just gonna right there, right there. Good, yeah, just rub it in. Uh, turkey flavor. Come on with me, McKenna, you did a fantastic job. There you go. McKenna, for being such a great assistant, you are a trainer for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Nice round of applause for our assistant. Now, oftentimes on set, the animals have to take directions directly from an actor. So I need help this time from someone who loves animals. Let's see, so many volunteers. Oh my goodness. A young man, you got a green sweatshirt on, it looks like, with army shoulder yeah, glasses. Come on down, man. You'll be perfect for this. Come on up. Hi, what's your name? Dylan. Dylan, where are you from? Corona. Corona, man. Welcome to Hollywood, Dylan. You are going to be our co-star. Actor, have a seat in this chair for me, my friend. All right, Dylan, it's time to meet your co-star from the TV show Raven's Home. Welcome back, Muggsy. Muggsy. It's like a magic trick. He's going to appear any second. Watch. Boom, Muggsy. <laughs> Tell you, man, we do magic, not only train animals. All right, Dylan, this is simple. Backstage, we got a huge pile of clothes. Anything you would like to wear, hat, shirt, shoes, pants, socks, you name it, Dylan, we have it. All you need to do, hold on, don't get ahead of me. All you need to do is think of two articles of clothing. When you have them in your head, you gotta whisper them to Muggsy, okay? Because he's gonna head on back there and bring them out for us. So think of two, and you're gonna tell Muggsy. Okay, did you tell him two? You did. Okay, Muggsy, you heard the man. There you go. Take your snack for the road. All the way back there. Now, folks, this is not a trick. It is a trained behavior. Muggsy is backstage looking through this pile of clothes, and he's going to bring out exactly what you asked him for, Dylan. He's been doing great all day. Has not missed a single one, and the first one is a hat. Now, did you ask for a hat? Yes. You did. Great. We got the first one right. Good boy, Muggsy. Get on back there and get that second one. Now, once he gets the first one right, never misses a second article of clothing. This is going to be a perfect show, and you guys will be amazed when he brings out exactly what you asked him for. Dylan, it's going to be a perfect show. Here we go. Thank you, Muggsy. And wait, hold on a second. Hey, man, where'd you get this? Muggsy! Sorry about that. That was Muggsy's girlfriend. But... Dylan, you did a great job. Stand up for me. Big wave to all your fans out there, Dylan. Nice wave. Dylan, take a bow. Sit. <laughs> Boy, you're well trained, man. There's your treat. I'm only kidding. Don't eat that. I'll take you. Dylan, you did a great job. You're going to help us out with one more segment. Take a walk with me. Now, sometimes on set, the director needs their animals to do things they've never done before. Perhaps go up, over, around, or through something that they have never seen. Our job as an animal trainer is actually train them how to do this. We'd like to show you how we run an audition with some of our animal stars. Welcome out, Midnight and Baxter. <laughs> nice knickers, by the way. Are you waiting for a flood or something? Clearly someone didn't look at the wardrobe, yeah. At any rate, anytime we have our animals on audition, we like to cheer them on, however, as you notice, we have a lovely cat. This is Midnight. Midnight likes to be in silent films, which means when we encourage Midnight, it's with absolute silence. So you guys over here are going to be quietly or absolutely doing nothing to cheer Midnight on. So in order to practice, we're gonna practice. I'm gonna say lights, camera, action. You're not gonna do anything. All right, you ready? Here we go, lights, camera, action. Hey, that's amazing. Awesome, perfect. All right, so you guys will be cheering on Midnight just like that because that's what works for Midnight. Now you guys over here, you're gonna be cheering on the handsome Baxter. You're gonna recognize Baxter. He's gonna be in an upcoming uh, show called Dog Gone. He, however, he loves noise. So you're gonna make as much noise for him as possible. So you ready? Here we go, lights, camera, action. There we go, all right. So let me explain our audition. One by one our dogs will be jumping up. I'm sorry, our cat and dog will be jumping up and over Dylan, racing through the poles. They're gonna take the turn, shoot through the tunnel. They're gonna jump over Dylan again and finish with ringing the bell. Now, Midnight is up first. So when I say lights, camera, action, we already practiced what we're gonna do. It looks like Midnight's ready. Ready, Tina? Okay, here we go. Lights, camera, action! She's like, why is it so quiet out here? Silence is golden, Midnight. I can't make it any quieter. No, no, see, I tried to explain it. You jump over the hurdle, you go through the poles, through the tunnel. There it is, over. There it is, into the tunnel. Over Dylan, with the bell. 
She's like, I did the bell first. What? Oh. All right, now you can make noise for me. Hey, Baxter, what are you doing, man? Seriously, that's, you gotta wait your turn. All right. It's a good look for you guys. Yeah, nice work. All right, so excellent job not cheering for midnight. Appreciate that. Midnight did pretty good. I don't even know what the time was. All right, you guys are going to be making some noise for Baxter. Let's give it a warm up. Lights, camera, action! <laughs> Dylan, stand up, my friend. I am terribly sorry about this. You know, man, man, don't touch it, man. Let it dry, okay? I'm sorry about that. You know, you did a great job, though. We are not sending you away empty-handed. For being such a great assistant, you are absolutely a trainer for the day. That is for you. Thank you so much. Nice round of applause for Dylan. Nice work, man. Amanda, what happened to Baxter? I guess we need help, Stefan. I mean, I think people can hear her in Waterworld screaming for help. I think the Mariner is going to show up. Is that Helen? Are they screaming for help over at the animal show? All right, I'm out. I'm out. I got a better idea. Let's run a CAT scan. Yeah, a CAT scan. Yeah, it works every time. Yeah, see, it's a CAT scan. Hey, hold on a second. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Hey, don't let him get the cat. Oh, I see why you guys have your knickers on. Hey, hey, what? Hey, 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 man. It's like a six-piece chicken nugget just ran across the stage. Except you. Uh, those are your friends, right? They went that way.
the cast of Universal's Animal Actors. Shelters first. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> 